Can we name that cheese? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know cheese. It's mm. the good part of broccoli and cheese soup. Yes. There are over 2,000 distinctive, different certified types of cheese, Whoa. and there is a three hour exam to become a certified cheese professional. That's a proper name. Really? Yes. Well, we are not certified cheese professionals, no. but I, for one, love cheese. I like cheese pizza. I put cheese on Ritz crackers, but it's not very sophisticated. My cheese experience is not very sophisticated. Your palate. Today, we're going to be tasting some very sophisticated, obscure cheeses, at least in terms of uh, what we know, uh -huh. and seeing if we can identify them based on taste alone. It's time to play Who Cut the Cheese and What Did They Name It? Well, technically, we know who cut the cheese. Chase cut the cheese, as he always does. But the question is, uh, do we know? What are, you, what are you trying to say? Everything that you can think I'm saying, I'm oh, saying it. Okay. But we are going to determine uh, if we can identify the cheese. Right. So what we have uh, in front of us, of course, we have our cheese boards. The yeah. cheese will be presented to us. We'll taste it. But. We have a list of the cheeses that we will be tasting, and we're trying to, based on the descriptions of these cheeses, match what we're tasting. But a cheese it, cheat sheet. But basically, there's not a whole lot to go on because we have the name, like, we're going to be tasting Epois, which comes from an unpasteurized cow. Well, not an unpasteurized cow, but the cow's milk. Uh, it's from the village of Epois, France, and it's aged six weeks. We're going to be tasting Humboldt Fog, which is goat's milk cheese from Humboldt County, California, aged 60 days. Oh, hmm. Uh, Cambazola, pasteurized cow milk from Germany, patented in 1970. And so, cheese. Relatively new cheese. Hmm. I guess only they can make it. Torta del Casar is unpasteurized sheep from Casar de Ca uh, Spain. Spain. <laughs> uh, age 60 days minimum. We're gonna be tasting hooligan, unpasteurized cow milk uh, from Colchester, Connecticut. I've never age, wanted to taste a hooligan. Uh, 60 days. And finally, we're gonna be tasting Rachel, <laughs> which is an unpasteurized goat cheese. Named Rachel? From Somerset, England. Named after an old flame of the cheesemaker. Oh, oh, Rachel. Come back to me, Rachel. Okay. I named a cheese after you. So this you. is, this is How not- How pathetic is that? Not blind. There's no blindfolds in this. We're just gonna have the cheeses brought and then we're gonna do a little mix and imagine with our cheese flags. Let's do it. Round one. Okay, here it is. You know what this is, but we do not. Um, let's taste it using our toothpicks. What is that on top? Like an edge? of some sort of plaster. Oh, it's nice. It has a nice, what do you say? What is the correct cheese Aroma. Term? It has a nice smell. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. Let me taste it. Mm. Wow. I don't love cheese as much as Rhett does. I, I love it as much as I do. <laughs> that is good. It's very strong. Oh, you know what's up for grabs here? A grilled cheese sandwich, Link. That's the prize. Made out of all the cheeses of your choice, and then the nasty ones the loser has to eat. Okay. Um, I feel pretty strongly this ha this mm. one has a very seventies vibe. Mm. I don't I don't think it's cow though. Yeah, I I'm thinking that this is um, an aged sixty day goat. You think it's a, a patented in nineteen seventy Cambazola? It feels very seventies. Cambazola for me. I'm going with the Californian Humboldt Fog. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. If that's whatever it is, I'm not a fan. So we're already starting off in different places, huh? Yeah. Damn, mix it okay. up a little bit. Our breath's gonna be great after this. Let's keep going. Round two. Okay, uh, our second cheese uh, requires a spoon to consume. I smelled that when Chase set it down and ate strong. Oh gosh. I thought that one was strong. That one was mild. Oh, this your is. Your world, your cheese world is about to be rock. Christy would love doing this, but. She loves cheese like you do, but. Oh, I know about Christy's love now, for cheese. this does not That's smell. That's what I made that macaroni sculpture for. <laughs> Which I still have. Sometimes we get together and eat cheese. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Shut now, up. Actually, I don't think this smells strong. It doesn't smell strong. So, it smells good. It smells like pudding. Mm, it's very. You gotta admit, that's good. Very smooth. Very pudding-y is how I would say if I was applying for the certified cheese board, I'd be like, that's a very pudding-y cheese. Are any of these gonna be like sliced and individually packaged in plastic? Cause that's what I'm used to. <laughs> that's cheese product, Link, that's not cheese. Uh, I'm going to, I, I feel like this has a French flair to it. Oh. Um, and, <laughs> you uh, do? I'm gonna oh, call this one, it's actually a poise, it's not 
Epois. I said it wrong. Sorry, Alex Trebek. <clears throat> it's actually Epois. I'm saying this has got uh, Connecticut written all over it. Uh, it's very mild, as we've said. So I'm going with the hooligan unpasteurized cow cheese. Oh, to each his own, that. Link. Round three. Look at this. We got another cheese on another board. Oh, yeah. Now, I can look at this and mm. I already have a uh, theory hmm. as to what it is. Oh, you know what? That's the funny thing is that you eat cheese off board, but there's a, probably a cheese board that makes the decision whether or not we're joining the cheese board. <laughs> I think so far they're not happy with us. Oh, no. I, I think this they got smells, two new candidates for the cheese board. This smells, uh, this, this doesn't smell too surprising. Oh, almost fruity. Fruity? Almost fruity. Not fruity. Almost fruity. Excellent. <laughs> wow. It's hitting me in so many places, and I'm enjoying every one of them. Is I'm, that not great? I'm with you. The more it stays in your system, the better it gets, really. Now, there's a fact mm. on here mm. about the Torta del Cazar. The milk is curdled using a coagulant found in the pistils of the cardoon, a wild thistle, and this has a very mm. vegetative flavor to it, and that is why I am going to say Torta del Cazar. So you think that's sheep, huh? I know that sheep. Actually, yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm using- I don't think that's sheep because- I'm using reason, I but I don't feel confident in any of my reasons. I don't think that I'm going to like sheep, and I really like that. What you um, got against sheep? So- What have sheep ever done to you? I've never eaten sheep anything do nothing from but... a sheep or part of a sheep that I liked. What about wool sweaters? I don't eat them. I appreciate the sheep and what they offer. I am believing that this has got 70s written all over it. Which is a portmanteau of two other cheeses, I'm told. Uh, Gorgonzola and Cambodia Yeah, cheese. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cambodia cheese is one of my favorites. <laughs> Round four. Okay. Uh, we have another pudding-y cheese. It looks like cheese goop encased in like some sort of heinous bread. It does look like a big old like it's very moist biscuitish type thing, doesn't it? Let's let's dig in. I'm digging over here. So I'm digging right here. Take the edge off of this one. Oh man. Ooh, that is some runny. Woo! Right? <laughs> oh. Link, you're gonna have a tough time. Oh. It's like adhesive. It looks like adhesive, and it's, it and it's it smells as strong it's as caulk. It could be. Caulk Did y'all stuff a biscuit with caulk? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> uh, you gotta fill up that biscuit with something. <laughs> okay, I'm going for it. Oh, whoa! It's biting my tongue. I don't want to be on the cheese board. Oh my goodness! You sure that's okay? Ooh. Ooh, after you swallow it, <gasps> ooh, the animal comes out of it. Oh man. There's a lot of animal in this one. And that animal doesn't move. The I, I do feel you there. I think that this one is the torta, but I've already selected the torta. However, we are gonna have the opportunity to change at the end, so I'm not gonna panic. I could see somebody, yeah. if you had a bad relationship with Rachel, you could name the cheese this, because like, man, she was so specific. And she was every time she was very sheepish. I hung out with her. I'm gonna go with Rachel here. But you know, you you think you ooh, <laughs> you think you're gonna change. She was very that mushy. <laughs> yeah. Rachel was very mushy. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. Round, Round five. five. Looky here, people. Another cheese on another board. I'm still tasting Is that it? one. Yeah, which I'm calling Rachel. I think yeah. I'm wrong, but I'm still tasting Rachel. Now, um. This cheese does not look well. It's got like some white moldiness. Ugh. Ooh, hmm. it's soft. Let's see. That one gets you right in the nose. Man. This doesn't smell bad to I me at all. I was feeling does so. That, are you saying it smells bad to you? I smell mine. Ooh, is that your finger? No, I think it's because I got a little bit of that crazy edge. Did you not get edge? I didn't get edge. Let me get another one that has edge and smell it. Yeah, that's a little high smelling. I was so confident when I was starting, but I've lost all confidence in my choices. Yeah, this like, is my brain is cheesed out right now. Let's just go on. Let's just go on a cheese trip here, though. All right, come on. Mm -mm. Ooh, no, sir. God, this is getting bad. Don't want to ride this train. First time I went to Sundance, I met a French woman whose breath smelled like this. <laughs> you remember her? I tried to forget her until now. She was a high society woman. She, she was got high right up in your face. In your face and like wah, wah, She was like an old rich lady. Uh, I've only got two choices left. Because that one did things I don't like, I can only imagine that the last mm -hmm. one's gonna do more things I don't like. But at this mm -hmm. point, I'm gonna have to go with Hooligan just because 
Uh, that one seems yeah. like somebody who's up to no good. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to do some switching at this point too. But I think because it's Rachel is my only goat that I have left, I'm gonna put a little bit of Rachel on this and see what happens. Round six. All right, look what we have here. This one's got like some mold ribboning. Mold ribboning is the official name. But I mean, you can see that that's like blue cheese ribbons. But I like blue cheese, but sometimes it can be a little strong. Oh, well, look at that. And then this right here, I'll take the part you left behind, which that's got a good ribbon in it. Hmm. Oh. Ugh! That's good. That's good, and I know it's something else that I've already selected. Ugh. But I have to put Humb Humboldt Fog because that's all I have left. Ugh. You don't like that? I don't like blue cheese at all, and it's like it's it's like making me not want to breathe. It's really blue I'm so cheese. So confused. All right, so the only one I have left is the epoits. So I'm gonna put the epoits right here. Now at this point, what we've decided to do is we we're gonna ask Stevie to tell us how many each of us have right, and then we're gonna have an opportunity to do some switcheroonie inspired by whatever that game is called and the price is right. So, um, okay, so Stevie, how many do I have right? You have two correct. Oh, gosh. How many do I have correct? You have two correct. Oh, oh, really? oh gosh! We gotta do some switching around. So, I know the first thing that I wanna do is, go. I wanna put my Rachel, I wanna move Rachel to here. Oh, gosh. And I'm gonna take my Kim, Kimbol, Kimbozola and move it to the blue cheese one. So I think Rachel, great haircut, great cheese. It's that simple. Oh, you made the same move that I'm about to make. Well, I think that's clear to me. It just, this one is a little bit of a blue thing too, but this one feels like it has a little bit more, um, this has like a goat. Um, I only got two rights, so I have to switch something else. Well, you know what, this one had a floral, see, now I don't, the problem is that we're gonna be, ma we're gonna be matching too many now, because I definitely feel like the torta is on the crazy one, because it was so nuts, and this one feels like, oh, Rachel, she's so sweet. I had such a good time with Rachel, and that's why I named that. Uh, so I just switched two, but I kept my epoise and my hooligan in the same place. And you know what, I could have very well just undid what I had right. So my epoise, smear ripened in the local pomace brandy. What looks smear ripened in brandy? None of them. They all look like cheese. I, I, I'm gonna go with this. And then, I probably need to switch, you know what, just for, just to kind of mix it up here. I'm thinking, I'm gonna switch these two at the last second, I'm gonna move my- Ooh, that may have been good, Link, My hooligan know. right here, and that is my final answer. The <sighs> results are being tabulated. Gosh. Uh, we've tried very hard. Uh, let's see. Who's if... the who's the bigger cheesemonger in this business? Okay, Stevie, let us have it. Have have we improved? Let's just start with that. Yes, Link, you have improved. Oh. You have a new score of three. Oh, I improved slightly. You're half right. And you you're announcing me first, which doesn't yes. bode well. Brett also improved with a score of six. You got them all right. Oh! I'm a cheese master. You're kidding me. You lucky dog, I've man. I've got a new talent. If the people of the cheese board are watching, uh, this is my official submission to be a uh, member. Don't mind me. Honorary member. I'm just over here. Uh, in, a, in my own only cheese test of my life, I'm 100%. Wow, so, uh, hey, you know what? Good job, you get to eat the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich of your choice in Good Mythical More, but for now I wanna say thank you for being with us <laughs> yes. in this in this uh, cheese endeavor. And for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Ryan from Springfield, Ohio, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, we don't have cheese on Instagram, but we do have waffles. Every Wednesday, it's Waffle Wednesday on the Rhett and Link Instagram. Be there. There's plenty of other pictures there too. Eat them up, y'all. Click through to Good Mythical More, where Rhett's gonna eat up the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich, yeah. and we're gonna celebrate. This just in, cats are both liquid and solid. This just in, cats are, what? Both liquid and solid. Yes, Jim, it's an incredibly, incredible breaking news story. A uh, man saw a cat peeing in the park, and then he was like, I can't tell the difference between the pee or the cat. I was just saying, you know, I like a lot of weird stuff. What the heck? Somehow this burnt me from that far away. I think you must have touched it. No, I didn't. 